Hi everyone, I'm Suo Diao, the first author, and today I want to introduce my paper. The title is Class as Agnostic Future Object Counting. In this paper, we want to solve the class agnostic future learning on object counting tasks. We propose a network called CFOCNet, which is class agnostic future object counting network that computes the number of instances of certain object class by providing one or more reference images to the network. Different from those object counters, such as counting people or animals, they are only designed for counting the specific category. This model is able to count any arbitrary object. To achieve the class agnostic manner, we cast the counting problem into a matching problem. In order to force the model learning the class independent feature so that in the testing stage the model can generalize to such unseen objects. This is the overall network architecture. The input of this method is a query image and several reference images where the number of reference images need not to be fixed. For example, the query image could be a photo which contains several cows and reference images could be a set of photos that contains some examples of cows. Our network is mainly built upon a two-string ResNet network with matching mechanism applied on the output of each ResNet block, followed by a learnable weight fusion that combines the matching score map to, uh, by different scales. The output of this network is a density distribution map and the final count is calculated by taking the integration of the predicted density map. These two tables show the performance of our network on the COCO data set. Since there is no available data set that aims at evaluating the generalization of the class agnostic setting, we manually choose a subset of COCO data set to meet our requirement and to evaluate the effectiveness of our proposed method. We measure the performance by MAE mean absolute error and MSE mean square error that are commonly applied on similar works. The first table shows the result of our network that use one reference images as input. And the second table shows the result that use five reference images as network's inputs. We can see that our model outperforms similar work by a large margin and can benefit from having more reference images. And please note that in testing stage, our network does not need any fine tuning on the testing categories. Okay. This is the visualization result of our method versus previous works. The first row is the query image, the second row is the reference image, sample from data se testing set. And the third, fourth, and fifth row show the predicted result of similar works in our CFOC net. The number in the upper right corner represents the final count. We can observe that our method uh, performs better than other works quantitatively and qualitatively. Next, in this paper, first, and different from class specific counting, we argue the importance of class agnostic future counting. Second, we propose an effective network arch architecture that calculates the similarity of query image and reference images in different scales, which reduces the counting problem to a matching problem. Last, uh, compared to similar work, our CFOC net has the low lowest MAE and MSE on the subset of the, of the COCO data set. Visualization result also shows that our method can successfully predict various objects. To see more details of this work, and please refer to our paper, Class Agnostic Few Shot Object Counting, ID is 996, and thanks for listening.